Hi, it's Apple1975, and welcome to Lead Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I'm showing you something I do when I want to get some base materials. It's a little habit of mine. When I've done my PvE piracy and my PvE uh, grind for merits, if I've got my shield cell banks left and my shields are pretty good, I will take my stolen low temperature diamonds into the nav beacon where I've been and uh, then I will kill anything that attacks me and scoop up their remains. This is uh, actually a really good tip if you're if you wanted to bounty hunt. If you take low temperature diamonds into a nav beacon uh, you will just get attacked by any pirate wings that are in there or any pirates that are in there. You don't have to go looking for them. They come looking for you. You can scoop up their remains with limpets. If you're a good shield tank ship like a cutter you don't even have to move that much just literally just pinwheel around letting your limpets go in and out getting the stuff while you continue to shoot stuff uh, you know you need a good shield tank ship to do this because you'll get attacked by sometimes by like five six ships at a time but you know it's fine with my cutter and I do this like I say when I've finished my PvE piracy I got a cargo hold full of low temperature diamonds you know I'm just basically squeezing off the remaining rounds that I've got burning through my remaining shield cell banks you know just getting as many materials as I can before I go back to port to sell up and it's a good way of getting easy materials because you know these ships are pretty easy to destroy and uh, I can quite easily scoop up their remains I would if you're gonna do the bounty hunting version of this it's really good money-making tip but I wouldn't do it in um, has res because you get mass locked by the uh, you know rocks so if you need to hightail it it's uh can get a little fruity because you can get attacked by an awful lot of ships at one time it's almost like going into conflict zone sometimes where you're being targeted by like 10 15 ships so you know keep it sensible make sure you got your escape route planned and that's it just gather some materials it's uh like i say it works really well it works really well for bounty hunting because when you uh, you know take into account the money you're making from bounty hunting these guys as well as scooping up their remains, it actually makes it worth it. And taking stuff into a Hazrez can be really funny if you want to get attacked by everyone. But there we go. That's my little tip. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like if you like it.